In this video, we're going to talk about why weekends are for suckers and what you need to do to transform your life to move to a corporate status where you can enjoy your life virtually any day of the week versus waiting for Friday and Saturday because Sunday is a work night. So let's talk about it. If this is your first time catching me, this is Glendon Cameron, your corporate coach, your money coach, teaching you how to manage your money, how to sell corporate structures, and how to do things that will make your life remarkable. One of the things that irks me, and this has been my life for many, many years, is I'm in a position to do my errands, my shopping during the week. And I'm gonna tell you, I love shopping at Target, Kroger, wherever during the week, because it's just me and the old people. I can get in, I can get out. This weekend, I had the urge for some Cracker Barrel. I don't know, it was just this urge for some Cracker Barrel. And I went to the Cracker Barrel and there was a 40 minute wait, which actually ended up being 47 minutes because of this mad crush of people. And then something else happened. Um, I'm tricking out the corporate vehicles and I went to the shop and they couldn't do a Friday appointment because they were booked. All right, all right. So let's go for Monday, drop the vehicle off Monday. They tell me because of the overflow of what happened Friday that my vehicle will not be ready until tomorrow afternoon. And I was just like, just had a conversation with them. I was like, it's like this every Friday. So people are carving, compartmentalizing their lives where they can be free Friday and Saturday. <clears throat> Friday and Saturday are the days. Friday and Saturday are the days that so many people um, live. And this is one of the reasons that I absolutely hate going out on the weekends because it's always crowded, it's always a crush of people. But here's the thing, and this is just me because I've been a corporate citizen for many, many years. I've been able to come and go as I please, been able to shop, do whatever during off-peak hours. So I've, I've, I've developed certain appetites and I've developed certain behaviors where like I absolutely deplore going out on the weekends because it's always a crowd, it's always a wait. And I think the economy is starting to come back because you know people are out, they're spending, they're doing whatever they're doing. But it, it got me to think, why are so many people living this way? And I have an answer. They don't know any better. Essentially, when you're brought up, when your mom and dad raise you, your mom and dad, they don't just raise you, they indoctrinate you. So whatever your mom and dad was doing, you're going to model that similar behavior because this is one of the things that I find to be interesting and from a dating perspective is I'm a person that has 100% control of my time. It is very rare that I will uh, run into someone who has that kind of time flexibility, that time freedom. And essentially, uh, one chick I'm dating, she don't have a job. And she's the chick that I see the most. She don't have a job. And I'm like, hey, let's go do this. Okay, I'm free, I'm free. She's always free, but she doesn't have a job. <laughs> it's kind of interesting. But one of the things that you want to understand is you have a choice in how you can set this up. You, you have options but you must be trained in doing these things and understanding that you now have options in how you can set your life up because one of the things that no one ever explained to me and this is something that i found out by becoming a corporate citizen 
uh, that I found out by actually um, being part of the process of building businesses and creating time freedom for myself was no one actually, the people who are living this life, the folks who are out walking, enjoying life during the week, they're not communicating with the unwashed masses saying, hey, you know, there's a better way to do this. The other day, I think I'm gonna post it in the community section. I went to my old house and I went to my old neighborhood and it was such a radical departure from where I live now. Just like the other day, like right now, I'm out here doing this video, I'm driving around my neighborhood. There's tons of people out walking their dogs. These people have time freedom. Maybe they work from home, maybe they're retired. And the average person, the common man, lives for the weekends. Thank God it's Friday. So Friday and Saturday, this is the only time during the week that you have time freedom to live how you want, to do what you want. And it is, it like, like I said, I mean, there's so many people who live like this. This is one of the reasons I absolutely hate going out on the weekends because it's so crowded because I have become used to living my life, doing certain things and enjoying life in a manner that the unwashed masses don't. I mean, like it's what, 9 or 30 in the morning and I'm doing this video because I have time freedom. I, I have my whole, this is a planning day. This is the day that I lay out plans, uh, lay out things for my assistant to do. Uh, this is the, the ability, because essentially the first step that you have to do is you gotta create a business. You're not going to get time freedom with a job. It's not gonna happen. It's just not gonna happen. You're gonna have to create a business. You're gonna have to put together a certain schematic where you can enjoy your time, where you can have freedom. So the first thing I want you to do is to write down a goal that I want to achieve time freedom. Now, in the beginning, the three to five or seven years when you're getting your business going, you're not gonna experience time freedom. You're not even going to experience what many people call work-life balance. <laughs> that, that cracks me up with the work-life balance. Essentially, when you're starting a business, and starting a business is a lot like a plane taking off going on a trip. A plane burns 30% or 40% of its fuel taking off and landing. Because the taking off takes so much power to get airborne, and this is what you gotta do. So just forget about work-life balance. And to my dudes, all right, this, this is a message from me to you. Go ahead and get yourself established before you meet big booty betting because once you, you know once you go ahead and pair up with big booty betty and then y'all are building a life you're living together you're, you're thinking about starting the family together and then you come hey big booty betty i want to be an entrepreneur big booty betty gonna get scared big booty betty gonna be like whoa whoa whoa, whoa. you gonna quit your good government job with the benefits big big booty betty is going to see nothing but bad outcomes so this is why you want to be on that entrepreneur track before you meet Big Booty Betty because then Big Booty Betty meets you as an entrepreneur. That way Big Booty Betty is acclimated to you being an entrepreneur, to you building your business. So there will not be this panic when you're like, hey baby, I wanna be an entrepreneur. You're already an entrepreneur. You're already out here living that life. You're already out here doing certain things. You're making moves, you're making money, you're building yourself. Do this before you meet Big Booty Betty and start having little cubs, okay? So I want you guys to go ahead and understand there is a process to achieving time freedom. There is a process to building your business. There is a process and there's steps to this because one of the things for you to get time freedom 
is you got to build something that creates value for people. I was watching this video and I was really vibing with this video. The guy was talking about to get rich, you need to serve people. This has been my message for 10 years. To get rich, you gotta serve people. You gotta serve people. You gotta serve people. You gotta create value. You get, and I've been talking about that and this is why so many people are trying to rent seek, which is to extract huge sums of money out of the stock market, out of Forex, or some other um, financial device without actually creating value, without actually serving people because they just want, just give me the money. Just give me the money. I don't wanna do nothing else. Just give me the money so I can be this person that's making all of this money without serving people. And once again, the fastest way for you to get rich is to serve people. The fastest way for you to achieve time freedom is to build a business and hire people. Because once again, uh, there's like 30 something million businesses in America and literally 28 million of these businesses are single people businesses. In the corporate toolbox, we're gonna to talk about hiring and training because this is how you achieve time freedom. When you hire people, you buy time. Every person that you hire and assign them to do something, you're buying time. So if you have eight employees, you're buying 64 hours a day of time that you yourself don't have to do whatever you hire them to do. So this is one of the things that you wanna do because like weekends, you, you don't want to be 60 something years old before you can wake up and do what you wanna do on your day. I'm here to tell you, um, you know, I feel that I'm in pretty good shape good health, but I'm telling you, as you go through the seasons of life, it's gonna be way better if you can achieve time freedom in your 30s than in your 60s or your 70s, because it's just, you know, unless you just really take good care of yourself, I mean, it's just gonna be a lot more fun for you to achieve time freedom when you're young and the sooner you get started, because like, one of the things that you guys have got to understand is creating a business that serves people. And wow, I don't know why they, they tore that, that they tore that house down and they're gonna build another one. That's something I see in this neighborhood frequently. They were tearing out a perfectly good house just cause of the, they want that lot and they will build something else on it. it I see it all the time. But um, one of the things that I want you guys to understand is you don't want to be that person who is living for the weekends. You don't want to be that person because like this weekend, you know, I, I will go out on the weekend and it is hard. <laughs> it is hard because I know that I'm like, like, like if I were to go to Cracker Barrel right now, I would walk in and get my food and be out. There will not be any wait because everyone else is at work. And one of the things with establishing time freedom is with a business, and this is something that can happen with your business pretty early, maybe year two, year three, is you can hire employees to run your business while you're out doing other stuff. I have a friend by the name of Michael. Michael is home so much that his neighbors thought he was retired and Michael is the CEO of his own company but Michael has built systems and processes where he can do what he wants to do with his time. He can do whatever he wants to do with his time because he's built that financial device which will open them up. Because I know that many of you, because uh, one of the things I'm, I'm finding out is so many people don't have time freedom and so many people don't understand how to build time freedom, or how to build a, a system, or how to hire people, or how to start a business. And this is some stuff that we're gonna get into the corporate toolbox. Because a lot of you wanna get into these advanced tactics of starting a trust, but you have absolutely no assets, nothing. But you wanna start a trust. What are you gonna put in the trust, bruh? 
You don't have no assets. You ain't making no money. Come on, man. Let's do this thing in the proper sequence. Build a company, make the money, get the assets, then create the trust. Because I got so many people who want to get into these top level strategies and tactics without doing the groundwork. Also, for you guys in the corporate toolbox, I'm starting to run ads and the, the YouTube training has started. There's the first, uh, first uh, lesson there. And what I'm gonna do is just record what I'm doing, show you the results, how this thing goes down. So that's already going. But one of the things that so many people don't seem to understand, and this, this is like OnlyFans. All of these girls got into OnlyFans because it was easy money. And then when the business got hard, i.e. people started to go back to living their lives, people started to go back doing what they needed to do, uh, the, the internet traffic died down, because like do this, if, you, if you've got some spare time, go to YouTube, put in OnlyFans, and check out all these girls who had the OnlyFans pages and see how many of them still have pages. Because see, this is what everyone is looking for. They're looking for low hanging fruit. They're looking for an easy business that has quick profits without them doing that much. And typically, like we will use OnlyFans as an example, when it became hard, because these girls did not know how to market, they did not know how to promote themselves. There, there's a site called Chatterbait, Cam Girls. There are girls on their site making 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, $100,000 a month. And these girls have been doing it for years, but they know how to promote themselves. They know how to put in that work. They know how to use social media. And the, so many of you are looking for that unicorn that no one knows about, that makes a lot of money, that you can start making money really, really quickly. Uh, like, like, here's the process. I'm running paid ads, right? And I'm looking at a month or three months of learning, of testing, and putting stuff up. That's what I'm looking at. I already know this because I've run paid ads before. I know that this will not be instant money, quick money, or fast money. But many of you are looking for something that's, if you do some effort on Monday, you're gonna yield some cash on Tuesday type things. And that's not how real businesses are built. And I want you guys to build a real business so you can start to get some time freedom because I'm telling you you don't want to be that person living dreaming hoping waiting for the weekends you don't want to be that person you want to be that person who is the architect of your life living the life that you want enjoying the life that you want making the money that you want and doing the things that you want to do with your life but at one, you know, and the earlier you get started, the better. Because this is another issue. So many people wait until they get married or they wait until they get older to get serious. I got serious on my journey, thank God, when I was 32. That's when I got on my journey, when I was 32. And so many of you are waiting too long to get onto your journey, to get serious about making some cash, about building a business. That, that's just not the way that you wanna do it. So to help you on this journey, I got free courses below. Number one, get the money management course, because most of you are clowning on your money and your money is gonna clown you. When you clown on your money, your money's gonna clown you. Manage your money or your money's going to manage you. And this guy has a sofa on top of a Honda. That's interesting. So. Go ahead and get the free courses and don't just download them because they're free. Actually, if you're so broke that you can't afford the corporate toolbox, then go ahead and get these courses and act like you paid for them and do them because they'll help you make some money. They will help you build some stuff. They will open up new doors for you because one of the things that I am seeing is people are not taking action and they're looking at all these videos on YouTube of people who are living these fantastic lives, 
driving these fancy cars and they're spectators versus participants versus technicians versus being on the field playing the game you know playing the game so i got that stuff for you uh, there's going to be more driving videos there's going to be a lot more stuff there's going to be drone videos all this stuff is coming and i'm also going to kind of slow down on the, the production of content because essentially uh, i've seen people with youtube channels that put up one or two videos a week they got way more views than i do and we're going to we're going to start playing around with the algorithm we're going to start having a little bit more fun because one of the things i want you guys to do because one of the things is I tell you guys everything I do. I show you guys, I post receipts and everything. So go ahead and take it from me that if you want to achieve time freedom, you need to build a business, then you need to hire people, then you need to create processes and systems so you can achieve this time freedom so you can live the life that you wanna live. So that's all I got for you guys and I will see you in the next one.